Hello, Andrew Hewlett here with my new uh, YouTube channel, My Questions for God. And okay, here we go. Uh, this is a, a big one. Uh, why is God so hidden? Why is God so hidden from us? Why doesn't he make himself more obvious to us? You would think that God would want us to know him and... Um, Therefore, he wouldn't want to be hidden from us. He would make himself more obvious to us. Uh, this is a question that, that really has perplexed me over the years. Now, of course, one answer to this that many would say is, well, the answer to that is, is obvious. There is no God. Um, God seems hidden to us because there is no God. Now, um, I have, even though I'm a believer, I think I have to still kind of grapple with that question and test my faith. But um, it is a big question that does perplex me. Now, I'm dating myself with this a little bit, but, uh, <clears throat> and in fact, I barely remember, but many, many years ago, um, there was a Russian cosmonaut named Yuri Gagarin. And you'll know, of course, that he went up, uh, uh, the cosmonaut went up into space. And when he came back to Earth, one of his first things he said is, Ha! I was up there in space. I saw no angels. I saw no God. There's no God. And uh, there's proof for you. Well, uh, maybe. But um, in my view, that's a little bit uh, naive. It's kind of a, it's a bit of a, I don't know if you call it a straw man argument, but it's a bit of a naive approach to say, because you went up there in a spaceship and looked around, you didn't see God up there in heaven. Um, I think that's a little, a little shallow. Um, of course, modern physics tells us too that there's this whole unseen world out there of, of subatomic particles and quarks and leptons and neutrinos and antimatter and positrons and there's this whole world out there that we can't see um, but we know we've come to discover that it, it is true and it truly exists so I think modern physics uh, might give us something to think about there uh, especially to do with things that we can't see and touch um, you might want to uh, also you could imagine um, living in um, uh, uh, some artwork. Think of, think of this world like a, living in a piece of artwork. Well, we might be able to see all the other things inside this piece of creation. We might be able to see things there, but of course we wouldn't be able to necessarily see the artists. We would have to um, look for things within that creation in order to, that might point us towards um, a greater cr uh, creator. Um, I, I've also, you've probably heard this before too, and they, none of these are proofs, they're just things to help, help people reflect on. Um, you've probably heard the story about, uh, and I won't go into the, the full story, of, um, but of, the, um, there's, of two babies in the womb having a discussion. But the gist of this is, um, you know, one of the babies is saying, well, no, this is all there is here. Uh, I don't believe this idea that there's another world out there or that mothers exist or anything. I'm in, in just my, this world here. This is all there is. There's nothing more. I can't see it. You can't prove to me that it's there. Um, maybe that sounds similar to the, uh, the classic argument or, or a, um, a, a parable or story the, or the allegory of the cave by Plato. Um, I think that's worth reflecting on as well, but I won't go into details. I'm trying to keep this video really short and I'll flesh out some of these things later on. Um, you know, why is God hidden? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's something, for some reason, the drama of life, of God creating us and to be in relationship with him. Maybe somehow this drama, um, uh, maybe somehow God would overpower our free will if he just kind of showed up on my front lawn and, or on the state capitol and said, here I am. Um, maybe somehow that would overpower our, our free will. 
I'm not, I'm not really sure, but there's, there's mystery here, that's for sure. I mean, certainly God wants seekers. He doesn't just want casual inquirers. He wants people that truly seek after him. Um, the other thing, too, that's worth considering is uh, the other side of the equation. Maybe we're blind to God. Maybe something has happened that we are, are blind to God. We're blind to the spiritual realm. We can't perceive it with our, our senses. Now, of course, as a Christian, I do believe that God has indeed, indeed revealed himself in the person of, of Jesus Christ. And also, I would say, in the natural world, in the, in the starry heavens, and then the moral, you know, the moral law within. I'll, I'll talk about some of these things. Um, but I do believe that God has revealed himself in various ways, primarily in the person of Jesus Christ. His, his life, his death, his resurrection, and I'm going to talk about that as well too, but not here because I'm trying to keep this down to three minutes. Um, so anyways, these questions, this or this main question of God's hidden us, it certainly does perplex me, um, but I'm not naive to say that just because I can't see and touch God and he hasn't, he hasn't revealed, you know, just poofed himself down on the front lawn or something, that he didn't, didn't exist. I think that would be kind of naive. So um, I'm going to do some more, um, some more videos. I'm hoping to start maybe a little website and post some things there that I can flesh these out in greater detail. Anyways, that's all I have for now. Uh, my main thing is just to give some points to, to get people to, to think and to get some discussion uh, started. Uh, the other thing too, I, I think I promised in my introductory video that I was going to try to um, always end with a joke just to keep things on the lighter side and keep things positive. So my joke for today, what do you get if you cross a horse with a rattlesnake? The answer? Well, I don't know what you get, but if it does bite you, you can ride it to the hospital. Anyways, that one's a little corny too, but uh, there you go. Anyways, um, tune in again soon because I'm hoping to post some more videos. Bye-bye uh, and God bless.